Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Tawana Speaks TV. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of Tawana Speaks TV. I'm your host, Tawana Kelly, your Fear Busting Advancement Coach. Here at Tawana Speaks TV, we come to you every week with a topic that kind of helps you overcome fears and barriers to your success. We here believe that you are destined to live a life of greatness, and we want to make sure that you achieve that greatness. This week's topic that we're going to cover, stay away from dream killers. That's right. Stay away from dream killers. We've talked about this before on Tawana Speaks TV, but it bears repeating. There are times when you have people in your lives, they could be family members, they could be co-workers, they could be friends, and you tell them, you share with them your dream, your desire, your goal. And instead of them saying, go for it, they say to you, hmm, really? Do you really think that you can do that? You know there are a million restaurants already out here. You sure you're going to be successful in that? You sure you want to do that? And you start to internalize. If you hear that enough, if you hear that enough, you start to internalize that and doubt yourself. Can I really do it? Can I really do it? Am I successful enough? Am I smart enough? Will I be able to, 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 to go up against the competition? Can I do it? Maybe they're right. Maybe I won't be successful. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. You start to internalize those negative naysayers. And then what do you do at that point? You stop what you're doing, and then you just keep doing what you are currently doing, the status quo. And you know that's going to get you nowhere but just repetition, boredom, frustration, and a whole lot of nothing. So what you need to do is not share your dream. I don't care if they're family members. I don't care if they're friends. I don't care if they're co-workers. I don't care who they are. Do not share your dream, your goal, your desire with people that do not support it. You need to be around people that are going to push you and be your rah rah cheerleaders. Do you know that old saying or do you know what the meaning of self-fulfilling prophecy is? Do you all know what self-fulfilling prophecy actually mean? Okay, that means that if you say something so much so often you begin to internalize it and then it becomes a reality. What you think, what you feel becomes reality. You have to know that. So if you're constantly surrounded by people that say, you are brilliant, you are great, you are smart, you're going to do this, you're capable, I believe in you, then what do you think that's going to happen? What do you think all that positive reinforcement is going to do for you? It's going to say, it's going to resonate within you, and you're going to ultimately internalize all of that and you're going to wake up one day and say, you know what? Yes, I can do this. Yes, I'm smart enough. Yes, I'm capable. I can do this. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to go out for that promotion. I'm going to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Because you have those, those positive reinforcements in your corner. Stay away from your dream killers. Many times those dream killers don't want you to succeed because you remind them of all of their failures. You remind them of all of their failures. Don't let their shortcomings impact your blessings, your success, your abundance. Do not let that happen. That's what people do. They don't want to see you succeed because then they start to feel bad about themselves. Wow, I should have done that. That should have been me. Why wasn't that me? Don't let them stop you from the abundance that is hanging over your life. 
the only, the only thing, the only one that can keep you from the abundance, the overflow that is destined for your life, that's hanging over your life, is you. So I want you to keep that in mind. Stay away from dream killers. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Tawana Speaks TV. And until next week, stay fearless.